Now we're going to create the Unraid USB key. This is for version 6 uh, beta 3, but the steps will likely be very similar throughout the beta process. So first things first, download the beta from the link here on the Lime Tech website. Once it's downloaded, you'll need to extract it and it will appear here like that. Um, then once it's extracted, you'll end up with a folder with all of this stuff in it. Next up, you need to grab your USB key and format it. So I do this using Disk Utility on the Mac. Uh, I just select the drive, press Erase, choose MS-DOS FAT, make sure that the label is Unraid, press Erase, and wait a few seconds. All right, so now we have an Unraid key. Next thing we need to do is create uh, the Unraid key and make it bootable. Now to do this, we have the Unraid key empty over here and the directory where we extracted everything earlier. Select everything, drag and drop it onto the new USB key. Should only take a second. Okay, done. So we can now close this window here. Um, now, the making bootable part it could be tricky, but it's not. All you need to do is open terminal, new window like I've just done there. All right. Now arrange the windows like this, and what you should be able to do is just go like that. You see the make bootable Mac thing over here? Drag and drop it into the window like this. And hit enter. It's going to ask me for my admin password. goes through a few checkpoints, does a few bits of um, setup for you, and voila, we have a USB flash drive with the bootable boot sector, and it has all of the files required to run Unraid 6. Brilliant. Okay, now we'll plug in your USB drive and turn on your computer. What we now need to do is tell the BIOS to boot from the USB drive and then into the Zen part of Unraid. So once you've turned your machine on, keep tapping the delete key to get into the BIOS. Um, and then select the USB boot option. Mine's already done. So what you need to do is uh, keep pressing the down arrow once you have booted from the USB drive. And then select the fourth option on the list, Zen slash Unraid OS. We can change the Sys Linux which is what this menu is, we can change that later to um, always do this by default but for now you have to do it yourself press enter and this will boot up Unraid with the Zen hypervisor also loaded Okay, so we've booted up and now we want to find out what the IP address is of our Unraid server so that we can start configuring it. Now to do this, we log in as the uh, root user, so your, your screen will look something like this, uh, tower login. All you need to do is type root, there'll be no password set because it's a new install. In fact, let's set one um, by typing passwd, typing a new password doesn't matter if it's weak or whatever because I'm just doing this for his test video. Um, so now we have um, your root user has a password and we can see that because now look we're asked for a password. Uh, we want to find the IP address remember to um, be able to start configuring the the box, the Unraid box. So we do that by typing ifconfig and you can see here my IP address is 10.0.0.100. Yours will probably be different, but that's how I set my LAN up at home. Now, once you've got that address, go over to your laptop, your desktop, whatever, and type that into your 
uh, browser and that will take you to a web page which will ask you for the username and password which is root is the username and the password is whatever you just set alright so now we've got that um, what we want to do is enable user shares so we go to settings share settings enable user shares yes press apply then go back to settings enable NFS as well because this is very useful for Linux and it should be enabled by default but shh. now um, what we next need to do is create a share and we're going to create a share that is cash only my dog would shut up um, right a share which is cash only now we, we make cash only by selecting use cash disk only add share export NFS yeah Samba for Windows yeah that's also done by default uh, we'll also add uh, a data share so um, a share with data on it uh, and this we don't want to use the cache drive this this is going to write straight to the array uh, whenever we use it uh, and again just enable NFS alrighty so under the shares we should have a couple of um, things available now our array looks something like this yours probably won't look exactly like this but it doesn't matter as long as you've got a cache drive uh, you should be good to go I wouldn't recommend running your virtual machine straight from a, an array uh, that could get messy quite fast I'll just leave it straight to one cache drive or an SSD as your cache drive or something like that right let's move on to actually creating the um, the virtual machine